Always snipe in first person. When you strafe in first person you're much faster. And it's more responsive. You can hold sprint in third person to match the speed, but it will feel sluggish. You may get used to sniping in third person, but I would generally recommend task switch to first person. In third person you're easier to hit because you move slower. The settings. For the controls I recommend to use standard FPS2. It will allow you to sprint with the interaction menu or your phone open. Sensitivity is up to you and I'd recommend to try. Around and see what you like and get used to those settings. In the camera settings, you need to max out the field of view. It allows you to see more in first person. Also first person ragdoll. Combat roll and head bobbing should be turned off. They're really distracting. If you're on the new gen version of the game, you will have performance mode options. Always go with performance, not performance or T. It will reduce input lag and the frame rate will be more stable. Weapon target doesn't matter for sniping, but I prefer simple. Turn off motion blur and depth of field. They will give you a massive disadvantage because they blur your vision. Which sniper and attachments you should use. Always go with the mark to heavy sniper. It's a one shot kill to the body and head dot. It also allows for more customization. For the attachments, get the extended clip. It gives you more ammo. Use either the advanced or thermal scope. Depends on what you prefer. Use either the squared or bell end muzzle brake. A suppressor will reduce the damage. Also get the heavy barrel. I don't know why I didn't have it on. Learn how to strafe. Strafing is one of the most important things. When sniping in GTA Online, you have to move quickly and unpredictably. Here's an example. I see a lot of people that only move left and right and stand still to zoom in. Avoid doing that. That will make you an easy target. Outfits. The outfit itself doesn't matter. Just the colors and your headwear are, for example, have multiple outfits in different colors for different areas and most of them have a thermal helmet, so I'm protected from headshots and can activate thermal if I need to. Quick reload. There is a very simple trick to skip the reloading animation. All you have to do is switch to your throwable weapon and then switch back to your sniper. BST or Bull Shark Testosterone. When you register as a CEO, you will have multiple CEO abilities. And one of them is BST. BST will double your health and double your damage output. If your opponent is BST as well, it will cancel it out. I only use BST in unfair fights or when my enemy is using it. Or when my enemy is a bitch. When using BST, we'll have a greenish filter on your screen. 
and it will last for one minute until you need to get new BST. Pairing BST with armor will give the ability to survive one explosion. Use cover. This is very important for city fights. Always try to use cover if possible. This can sometimes help you out a lot, but it can also be annoying if your opponent uses cover as well. Thermal vision. The render distance on consoles is very bad sometimes, so you will need Thermal to see your opponent. This can also be used to spot people that are off the radar or snipe people out of wall breaches. Evo. Your own refers to the old easy way out option in the interaction menu. This is not being used anymore, so it refers to simply killing yourself with explosion, for example. Vehicle sniping. For me personally, this is the masterclass of GTA PvP. This is what I focus on the most because it feels good hitting a jet snipe or a presser snipe. Always use BST. It may be expensive over time, but not using BST will result in elotive hit markers. But that can also happen with BST. Cover is essential. If you want to get into vehicle sniping, Use a lot of cover like bridges and overhangs. This will help a lot against jets especially, but some might just fly away. Aim correctly. Snipers in GTA are not hit scan, which means they have travel time so aiming for the cockpit of a jet will not work. You will have to aim in front, so the bullet hits the pilot. This is very hard to learn and requires a lot of practice. I personally like to be in third person when sniping vehicles, because I can see more when I'm not in the scope. This also makes it easier for me to shoot jets and oppressors with rockets. But this is up to you. Vehicle sniping is hard. It will take a long time to be good at it. But don't give up. PC tips. I suck on PC, but I can still give you some extra tips. Make your own keybinds. On PC, you can freely map your keys to whatever you want. This can make things a lot easier. Put the detail distance all the way down. GTA Online is very CPU intensive and so is the detail. Distance option. Keep that low to lower your CPU usage. Make sure you're using your monitor's full potential. On PC, you're not limited to 60 FPS like. The consoles are. I for example have a 165Hz monitor, so I can play with a much higher frame rate.
Cheat crosshairs. My monitor has an option for cheat crosshairs, which is very nice. Because I can see where my crosshair is, without actually having to aim. Also very nice to see where your rockets are going. Be a griefer. Now before I get cancelled let me explain. To get better at sniping. Especially vehicle sniping you will have to attack people. I personally used to stand on the maze bank tower. And snipe people's jets, helis and cars from there. I still do it sometimes. Job teleporting. If you get run over or hit by explosive snipers, you can still open the pause menu and quickly join a job. I know this is dirty, but I use this sometimes. This way you can also teleport with your RC cars. Laser accurate rockets, with cheap crosshairs or your sniper scope, you can make your rockets laser accurate. Just aim with your sniper where you want shooter rockets, then switch and shoot. And that's pretty much it. Now all you need to do, remember these tips, practice and get better. It will be hard if you're starting from scratch, but not impossible. I started with GTA PvP in winter 2021, and I'm pretty decent now. Just don't give up. No matter how hard it seems. This took me ages to make